And welcome back guys, Tactical AV here. But believe it or not, I'm in the process of reviewing the Emotiva MC700 Pre-Pro processor when I noticed the Marantz had a firmware update. Now this firmware update more specifically deals with the Marantz NR1606 and the slimline receivers I've noticed lately. However, where I've got my NR1606 hooked up, I've noticed that we've had some problems with my Sony 4K TV lately and the HDMI handshakes. More specifically, we'll be watching the Roku player, which is plugged into the NR1606 directly, and, well, we'll get a black screen intermittently. Not too often, but enough to be annoying. Now, if your Marantz or Denon is connected directly to the internet, most likely it'll just give you this notification upon starting it up. But what I want you guys to do is I'd like you to go into the Setup menu, and I'd also like to hit the General tab. From there, we're going to select Firmware on the on-screen display or menu, and we're going to go to Update and check if we've got a firmware update relevant for our model here. Keep in mind guys, you can also just go to Marantz.com and actually select based on your specific model and serial number if there is an update relevant for your model. But lately we've got the DTSX feature upgrade as well as the Oro 3D Ultimate feature package upgrade. You can also go into the Notifications tab under the menu on your Marantz or Denon and have the Update and Upgrade features turned on. Like I said, I've been having problems with the screen turning on and off, specifically when using the Roku device. Now, I'm not saying that this update is supposed to fix that exact issue, and, well, I'm definitely not saying that there's a firmware update available for every Marantz Denon model out there right now. Keep in mind, I always recommend if your receiver or pre-pro processor has the ability to be connected directly to an RJ45 or an Ethernet cable instead of using the Wi-Fi, well, I suggest using that for faster speeds, even for a former update alone. So this time I just happen to turn the receiver on and while well, the update shows up. So this time we're going to go ahead and select update now. I'll give you guys an idea of exactly how long the specific update takes and well, more or less contact Marantz and try to get the look low down on exactly what is involved with this update. But this one seems pretty involved as it's taking some time. But nonetheless, they usually specify a 10 minute download period of time. But keep in mind, certain patches and bug fixes are usually what's included in firmware updates. Beyond that, also additional features. In fact, some of the newer units with Oro 3D included actually have to do a firmware update in order to get that Oro 3D feature on it. So it looks like our firmware update's finally complete on our Slimline Marantz model here. These units automatically reset and turn themselves on after they've performed their update, keep in mind. And it looks like our on-screen display issue has fixed itself. We've been having an issue with the on-screen display actually showing up on screen on top of the content that we're watching on the display. In fact, what would happen is I'd hit something like Info on the Marantz button here, and instead of the display switching itself off and actually going into the graphical user interface or on-screen display, we should see all that Roku information behind this black box here, as well as the volume display and eco settings. But also keep in mind, that is a setting that can be adjusted under the video selection in the menu. So if you're looking for your on-screen display, make sure something like that is switched on to the, in the first place. And, well, your video output settings are set up correctly for that type of display. But after everything's said and done, I'll try and let you guys know what exactly was included in this specific firmware update for my model. So make sure you've got your latest firmware and all the features that, well, you technically paid for when you bought your unit. Remember, models with the Oro 3D upgrade have to actually be downloaded before it actually will have Oro 3D on that particular unit. Well, it's back to review time, guys. And I'll be sure to have more videos coming shortly. But in the meantime, guys, take care. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care, guys.